All right, guys, welcome to uh, my uh, Twitch channel here. I haven't been on for a while, but I've uh, been having some problems with my computer, and I think I just found out what the problems might be. So uh, I wanted to share that with you, uh, because some of you might also be experiencing this. And also, one of the reasons that I discovered this problem is, is another YouTuber um, was kind enough to um, post his opinion and his experience, which then got me to confirming what my experience was. The problem that I was having was, when I would reset my computer, um, it would um, go through the postcodes, and uh, now most modern motherboards now uh, go through a little codes that you can see either on the motherboard or on the screen. And I'll go into that in a few, few minutes. Um, the motherboard I had before was the um, Asus X99 Deluxe. Um, it is a premium uh, X99 uh, motherboard. It is uh, DDR4, uh, all the bells and whistles, and you pay a premium for it. So uh, I expected uh, top-notch quality from Asus, and um, you know was really excited about moving from the uh, 79 platform up to the 99 platform uh, for various different reasons. And um, it's got you know cool stuff on it, uh, lots of different features, uh, lots of different things, lots of bells and whistles. So I was pretty excited about it, and didn't mind paying the additional uh, money for it. However, when I started using the motherboard, um, when I would reset the uh, BIOS, everything would boot just fine. And um, later, when I would go to restart Windows, just do a regular restart, no crash or anything like that, um, it would hang at a um, A2 or AD uh, BIOS code, which is unspecified for future upgrade. And um, it turns out that uh, what I found out is, is that's the portion between when it successfully boots the BIOS and is transferring control to Windows. It's right in the middle of that. It's doing the little handshake between BIOS and Windows. And strangely enough, when I would remove one or two of my hubs, I have three USB hubs, three seven port USB hubs, professional level, they're like $80, $90 USB hubs, powered by uh, 10, 12 amp uh, power supplies each. So they're pretty beefy, they have plenty of uh, power. Um, and uh, I, when I would unplug one or two of those USB hubs, lo and behold, motherboard would boot up just fine. Well, I, th I suspected all sorts of things. Chinese manufacturer, it's a USB device, they put in a, a chip, in there to spy on people and all this kind of stuff. I mean, all sorts of crazy things were going through my mind. Uh, why would this thing boot when I remove one hub but not the others? Well, you know what? Maybe one of the hubs has a hard-coded serial number that happens to just match the serial number of one of my other USB hubs. And during the boot sequence, there's some... It, you can see where I was going. All sorts of reasons why this thing wasn't booting. So finally, uh, about two weeks ago, I got tired of it. Uh, I just said, you know what? I'm done with it. And uh, I'm going to um, mess with the computer. So first thing I did is I went out and got Windows 10 uh, Preview, installed that, and ran through. Uh, you know, just kind of saw what that was going to happen. What was what that was like. Um, still experienced the boot problems, um, and the the Windows 10 still is a little sketchy. So um, prior to that, I needed to reinstall Windows 8 anyway. It was getting to be about that time. You guys know that drill. So. Um, with that happening, and with the boot problem happening, and my IT experience goes back 15, 20 years, I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Couldn't get it to boot reliably. And I tell you what, when I reset my computer, I just want it to boot to Windows. I don't want it to hang and come back in after getting a beer or going downstairs and having lunch. And it's at A2 code. So I uh, ripped out the motherboard, and I took a leap, and of course spent some more money and went to a new motherboard. Went to a new manufacturer, as a matter of fact. Uh, MSI, which I have not used before. I've used Gigabyte, I've used Asus, um, and uh, have not used these guys, but have heard some good things about them, and went with a uh, middle-level X99 motherboard. This is not a top-of-the-line motherboard. It doesn't have Bluetooth and you know all sorts of other things on it. It is, um, you know, it's got some advanced stuff on it. Um, but it doesn't have, you know, all the things. I mean, you look at the um, X99 Deluxe, and you get really excited. You're like, you know, there's a fan extension hub in there, and it's got Wi-Fi built in, and Bluetooth, and it's got an exclusive Asus 
O.C socket. So, you know, lots of cool things. Um, so, you know, I was pretty excited about all this stuff. So anyway, I ditched the X99 Deluxe Asus motherboard and went with MSI's motherboard. Popped that motherboard in, plugged in all of my USB devices. Haven't had a boot problem since. So, I gotta tell you guys, X99 Deluxe is getting a lot of press out there and none of the reviews are talking about um, when you have USB devices plugged in. Now this won't happen, for instance, I could boot every single time with five, six, seven devices plugged in. I could boot with a USB keyboard and mouse plugged in so I could get to BIOS, um, all that kind of stuff. But I've got a lot of stuff on my USB hub. I've got seven or three seven port USB hubs and they're pretty much full. Two cameras, uh, SIM instruments display, two uh, button boxes, Fnatic wheel, uh, Todd Cannon uh, uh, pedals, keyboard, uh, mouse, USB microphone, track IR, um, a uh, th uh, Thrustmaster uh, uh, Warthog um, uh, joystick and throttle, all sorts of stuff on USB. It's when I plugged in all that stuff that things started happening. So you may not experience this with the X99 Deluxe, but I tell you what, I did, I'm tired of it, and I wanted to share my story with you guys so that uh, you would all um, hopefully benefit from it and perhaps make a different choice. I don't know what the problem is. It could be my USB devices, but all I can tell you is that when I went from the Asus motherboard to the MSI motherboard, I haven't had a problem booting. Thanks, guys, for listening. I hope this helps you out. And uh, that was uh, my two cents on a technical problem I've been struggling with for several months and uh, wanted to let you guys know about it. Thank you much. Keep watching and uh, keep iRacing. Take it easy.